Hey, Mark Rice here, and today I will show you how to create a building. So first I will create a rectangle. Hit M on the keyboard and draw the rectangle. Okay, this is the basic shape of the building. Now I will create one more rectangle for the roof. Okay, something like this. And here I will create a shadow. So copy the basic shape of the building with Ctrl C, Ctrl F command, hold the bottom point and move it up. Okay. The shadow will be darker. Okay, cool. Now on the edge of the building, I will create some bricks. So hit M on the keyboard. Okay, here draw one shape. It will be yellow. And now copy the shape a few times. Just hold Alt, move it here, and repeat the process with Ctrl D command. Okay, cool. Copy the basic shape of the head, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, move it here. And I will use the new shape as a shadow as well, of the bricks. Okay. Then I will group the bricks with Ctrl G command, hold Alt, move it here, and rotate it by vertical. So click with the right mouse button, go to transform, then reflect, select vertical, and hit OK. OK. Group the shapes, here I'll create one more rectangle. And I just created the basic shape of the building, with details. And now it's time for windows, so hit M on the keyboard. Draw the rectangle. It will be white. Okay. Now I will copy the shape with Ctrl C, Ctrl F and change the size. It will be some kind of a glass. And I will copy the new shape. Ctrl C, Ctrl F. Move it here. Okay. The next step is a reflection on the window. So hit M on the keyboard, draw the rectangle, white rectangle, then rotate it by 45 degrees. So hold shift and rotate it. Move it here, copy it one more time, Control C, Control F, and change the size of the new shape. You will achieve better dynamic with it. Okay. Now I need to keep the white parts inside of the glass and delete the parts outside of the glass. So first I will copy the glass, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, then hold Shift and select white rectangles. Go to Pathfinder and here use the white. Okay. Click with the right mouse button, ungroup and delete what you don't need. Okay, cool. Select the white parts of the reflection, group it with Ctrl G and change the opacity. It can be 55 for example. I will group the shapes with Ctrl G. Okay. Here I will create one yellow rectangle. And I will copy the rectangle and create shadow from the copied shape. Control C, Control F. Move it here, hit I on the keyboard and pick up this color for the shadow. Okay, cool. I will group the shapes one more time. And 
and copy the windows. Just hold Alt, then Shift and move it here. Okay, beautiful. Now I need one more row of the windows. So hold Alt, move it here. And here I will create a door. In the same way as I did with the window. So first here, create one rectangle. Then the shadow for the rectangle. Control C, Control F. Okay, change the color. One more rectangle here. It will be white and it will be basic shape of the door. Then copy the shape with Control C, Control F. And use this glaze color for the shape. And I will create a reflection here as well. So hit M, draw the rectangle. It will be white. Hold Shift, rotate it by 45 degrees and move it here. Copy it, Control C, Control F. And I will create one more here. Okay. Then I will copy the glass shape with Control C, Control F. Select it together with the white parts of the reflection. Just hold Shift and use Divide in the Pathfinder. Ungroup and leave just white parts. Okay, I will use Opacity for that parts as well. So select the white parts, go to Opacity and type 55 here. Okay, and if you want to go one step further, you can copy the shadow, Control C, Control F. Then click with the right mouse button on the copied shape, go to Arrange and choose Bring to Front. Change the size, the new size needs to fit in the size of the door. Paint the new shape in the black color and use opacity. It can be 10 or 25, for example. And now I got the shadow on the top of the door as well. Okay, so the building is finished almost. I can add a few extra details to make it even better. So first hit I on the keyboard, pick up the building color and make it a little bit lighter. Then hit M on the keyboard and create one brick here. Okay. Now hold Alt and copy the brick a few times. More details, more fun. Okay. And it's a good way to fill these gaps around the windows and door as well. Group the shapes and I have orange building. Orange and purple colors will be perfect combination, so hit M. And here create the ground. Okay, it will be purple. Copy the shape with Control C, Control F. Change the size. Click with the right mouse button, go to range, send to back, and use lighter color. Okay, now you can add a few extra details such as clouds, buildings in the background and stuff like that and create your masterpiece even better. So that's it for today, I'm preparing more good stuff, so stay tuned because the best is yet to come. Peace.